Hey guys, what I'm making for you today is chicken marsala, swordfish marsala, cheese polenta, and broccoli rob. I did a whole voice over here and didn't even have my mic plugged in, so this is the third time I'm doing this. Anyway, I have all my ingredients laid out here. I have my marsala wine, heavy cream, cremini mushroom, polenta, which is like a grit for those that are not familiar with polenta. It's like grits, but it's more coarse. Onion and garlic, herb butter, and regular butter, and thyme. What you don't see here is my black pepper cheddar cheese and my broccoli rob. I have four chicken thighs here, and I have the skin and bone on. I always prefer to cook my meat with the bone and skin because it's usually a more flavorful and not dry. When you cook skinless, boneless chicken, it, it can get dry. So what I'm doing is just seasoning it with salt, pepper, and all-purpose seasoning. I've already washed and dried thoroughly my chicken. My all-purpose spice that I'm using here is not very salty, so I can add salt as well. If you have an all-purpose spice that's salty, don't use the salt only add pepper and I have my swordfish here which has been washed and thoroughly dried as well and I'm going to give that the same treatment So now I have my bulb of garlic and I've just split that open to get to release the cloves and I uh, hit it, gave it a whack to get the skin off and I'm going to cut the very end off where the root is because usually that part is pretty bitter and I'm going to fine dice it. And then with the onion I'm going to cut it in half, peel it and slice that. We're not dicing today. We're slicing the onion and the mushroom has already been cleaned and sliced. So now I'm adding some thyme to my onion and when I put my onion in the pan I'm going to put the thyme along with it and I'm pulling out my mushroom, pulling out the parts that I don't like the way they look. They have a lot of stems in there sometimes that are kind of woody. So here I've just added three cups of water to a saucepan with a pinch of salt for my polenta. And I'm going to add three cups of water to one cup of polenta. And you want to constantly stir the polenta just like you would grits if you're familiar with cooking grits. I've added oil, olive oil to my saute pans and my chicken skin side down. And the key to cooking chicken that is tender and juicy is to cook it on the skin side down if you have skin. If you don't, just cook it on one side until it's almost done and then flip it over to the, side, to the next side and cook it half the time you cooked it on one side. So I'm slowly adding my polenta to the water and I'm stirring it constantly. While you're cooking the other food, you want to continuously go back and stir that polenta because it will stick. I've just touched my fish for doneness and you don't want to overcook the fish. What you want to do is touch the middle and if it feels the same firmness as the sides, it's done. If the middle is firm, it's done. Pull it off. So I've just pulled that out and I'm adding my onion and my mushroom to the pan with the olive oil that I've just cooked the fish in. I did lightly flour my fish as well before I fried it or sauteed it. I'm adding salt and pepper to my mushroom and onion and stirring my polenta. Now I've just added some of the Marsala wine, I would say about three quarters of a cup 
to the fish and a cup to the chicken. And I've, I'm going to add my garlic and let the wine and garlic saute before I add the cream. I want the wine, some of the alcohol to cook out of the wine before I add my cream. So now I'm adding my cream and I've added the fish back to it. But off camera, I'm gonna pull the fish back out because I want the fish, I want the sauce to reduce some more and get a little thicker. And I don't wanna overcook the fish. So I took the fish out, let the sauce reduce on its own. I've just added the mushroom and onion to the pot with the chicken and remove the chicken. And I'm stirring my polenta. I've added some butter, regular butter, to the fish and I'm gonna add some herb butter, just one pat to my polenta. I've just added the garlic to the chicken and my marsala wine. So here I'm grating my black pepper cheddar into the polenta. You can use Parmesan cheese or you can use any kind of cheese you want. Or you can just not use cheese. Now I'm adding the cream to my pot for the chicken. And I am adding a little bit of cream to my polenta only because I didn't want to waste it. I had some cream left over from adding it to the chicken. It makes it creamier, but it adds a few more calories. So if you're watching your calories, don't add the cream. So I just put my polenta into a baking dish and I want that to cool off so I can cut it. I'm adding my broccoli rabe to my salty boiling water. And you want the polenta to cool off a little bit because I'm going to cut rounds out of that too, just for nice plating. You don't have to do this. You can just scoop it right out of the um, pot and put it into a mound on the plate and put the chicken on top of that if you like. So there I've just put my broccoli rabe in and I've just, I'm just going to saute that into the tender. When you cook broccoli rabe, you always want to cook, cook it in some salty boiling water first. You just don't want to take broccoli rabe and saute it because it's pretty bitter. So you use to pull out some of the bitterness first and then you can saute it with garlic and butter or garlic and olive oil. But today I'm just going to steam, um, steam it, boil it, and put it on the plate because I have some sauce and it's a late night anyway. I've decided to cut the chicken, so I pulled it off the plate and I'm cutting it out because it did it the late night and I'm trying to get dinner on the table. So I've plated that on top of my polenta and I'm spooning some of the sauce over it and I'm going to do the same thing with the fish. I use the biscuit cutter to cut out the rounds for the polenta. You can cut any shape you want. You can use stars, you can use hearts for date night or Valentine's night. Valentine's Day. So there I'm just adding my broccoli rabe to alongside the plate. It's delicious. I love broccoli rabe. This was a very delicious meal. Please try it guys. Thank you for watching. Give me a like and please subscribe.